I'm Dr. Paul Thompson of Chief of Cardiology at Hartford Hospital, and I'm here to discuss an article that's going to appear in Mayo Clinic Proceedings entitled, The Effect of Statin Therapy on Exercise Levels in Participants in the National Runners and Walkers Health Study. So what we did in this study is we collected the history of hypercholesterolemia and treatment in 3,000 people who went on statin therapy, about 2,000 people who had high cholesterol levels but did not go on statin therapy, and about 1,700 people who went on other than statin lipid-lowering therapy. And what we did is we tried to see if statin therapy decreased the amount of exercise that people did. So, the folks that went on statin therapy did have a decrease in their exercise levels, but so didn't the people who just developed hypercholesterolemia and did not receive any therapy, and so didn't the people that were put on other non-statin lipid-lowering therapy. Indeed, when you look at the study, it's quite possible that decreasing exercise actually led to the hypercholesterolemia and was associated with a decrease in exercise and not that the statins caused the problem of decreased exercise at all. So the way these findings relate to clinical practice is that there's a lot of concern among patients, and especially physically very active patients like runners and walkers, that if they go on a statin, they won't be able to exercise enough or their exercise levels will go down. At least from our study, it doesn't look like the statin is the cause of decreased exercise levels because exercise levels also went down in those people who developed hypercholesterolemia but were not treated with statins. The important message for patients is that going on a statin therapy does not appear to reduce their exercise levels, especially if they're a walker or a runner like the folks in this study. So the whole area of research into how statins affect skeletal muscle and exercise performance and training is very important and not totally clear. There are other studies that suggest that statins do decrease exercise levels among patients put on them. Our study would say that they do not. There are also some studies that suggest that statins interfere with the ability to increase exercise performance with exercise training. So the whole interaction of how statins affect skeletal muscle and what they do to exercise, and what they do to a person's ability to improve with exercise training needs additional research. So I think the import of this for clinicians is that they can reassure their patients that going on statin therapy does not, at least from the study, lead to decreased exercise levels. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.